Good morning and welcome to Tardis Spider. I'm Terry and today's video, Before I Was Doctor Who. I'm going to make a series of videos about parts that the actors played before they became Doctor Who. Today, William Hartnell, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, and Tom Baker. I will have three examples of their work before they became Doctor Who. But if you notice, I have a cake here that says 100 plus. Yes, I've had my first video reach 100 plus views. So I'm going to enjoy this cake, but I want to thank everyone at the Foley Public Library for their hard work made this possible. The video, Doctor Who Day at the Foley Public Library, went over 100 views in less than one week. A record for me. So let's enjoy this cake, enjoy this video, and enjoy Doctor Who. Was that before I was the doctor, William Hartnell. Now, William Hartnell, starting in 1932, will appear in at least 70 films and numerous TV series. Never the star, but always notable. Here are three of his best parts. Carry On Sergeant, 1958. The first carry on comedy. It pokes fun at the Army and National Service. 1959, The Mouse That Roared. It stars Peter Sellers. Peter Sellers will lead an invasion of the United States, hoping to lose. 1963, The Sporting Life. Richard Harris will star as a troubled rugby player. Now this is the part that Verity Lambert saw that inspired her to hire William Hartnell to play the doctor. Now, these are just three of the many films that William Hartnell appeared in. Before I was a doctor, Patrick Troughton. Now, Troughton, like all the other actors, has a long list of films and television shows to his credit. Here is a film and a couple television series. Jason and the Argonauts in 1963. A Sword and Sandals Spectacle. 1961. The television series Magret. This episode is available to watch on BritBox. And The Adventures of Robin Hood, starring Richard Green. Patrick Troughton will appear in several episodes. But of note, Patrick Troughton will star as Robin Hood in 1953, though this television series is lost. Patrick Troughton is the first actor to star as Robin Hood on television. And second note, his grandson Sam plays Munch in the modern The Adventures of Robin Hood. So these are a few works from Patrick Troughton that you might wish to enjoy. Before I was the doctor, John Pertwee. A funny thing happened on the way to the forum. 1966, an all-star comedy in Rome. Carry On Screaming, 1966. An evil scheme is afoot. Someone is kidnapping young women and turning them in to mannequins. I wonder if these are store shop mannequins. Nearly a Nasty Accident, 1961. RAF Group Captain has a hard time trying to restrain an aircraft man from tinkering. Again, John Pertree does not star in any of these films, but he is quite notable. And of very special note, Will Any Gentleman, 1953. A henpecked bank clerk is hypnotized and loses all of his inhibition. Look for William Hartnell and John Pertwee together in this film. Tom Baker, Before I Was the Doctor. Starting with Tom Baker, the doctors have a longer filmography after their part as the doctor, but Tom Baker had some notable roles before he was the doctor. He was in episodes of Dixon of Doc Green, 
and Z cars. Or if I was from the UK, I would say Z cars. He was in the film Nicholas and Alexandra, 1971. He played the mad monk Rasputin. And in 1973, he is the bad guy in the golden voyage of Sinbad. Though he is not the star, he also shares the screen with the monsters of stop-motion animation specialist Ray Harryhausen. So these are three of the films of Tom Baker before he was the Doctor. I hope you enjoy them. Now, as a recommendation, I'm going to recommend The Irishman, starring Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, and Al Pacino. Directed by Martin Scorsese, this current gangster film has just been released on a limited run in theaters and on Netflix. Basically, it's another retelling of the Jimmy Hoffa period. But as a more seasonal recommendation, I would recommend any and all versions of A Miracle on 34th Street. Christmas is a special time, so let's all enjoy it. So enjoy Doctor Who, check out The Irishman, but truly enjoy A Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> 